Twitch, hands down, has some of the strictest rules of any streaming platform. This is definitely a good thing, but when you accidentally say something in the heat of the moment, it can really mess everything up. Oh, you faggot. What the f you say to me, you little s <laughs> How are you? How are you not in f school? You kiss your mother with that mouth? It's called you. It's called you kiss your mother with that f mouth because the f youth of society. <laughs> You shut up when I'm talking to you! You shut your mouth! And the worst part of it all is, not only can you get banned for saying or doing something on stream, but you can get banned by breaking TOS in Twitch chats and even tweeting threatening TOS terms on other platforms. This Fortnite pro made the biggest mistake of his life right when he was probably about to hit the peak of his career. He had a god trio. Everything was lined up according to plan, and it was all in a year that had triple the current FNCS prize pool. Prior to the trio FNCS this season, Paper, Jamper, and Nico had been winning a lot of tournaments. Tournaments. They were easily one of the best trios and ran Holly Hedges. And then FNCS Heat came around, and they were getting contested by some randoms named Sharkman, NQs, and Fear. This wasn't a big deal to Paper, Jamper, and Nico, as they knew they'd be able to qualify since they had been landing here that entire chapter. Anyways, Heat's coming around, and they're extremely motivated. Paper gets a message from Sharkman saying that they're landing at the Spire instead of Holly Hedges. Paper's whole trio is super hyped, as they are now essentially guaranteed a qual to Grands while being uncon at a POI they essentially run. But then, all of a sudden, Sharkman decides to switch back to Holly out of nowhere and surprise con Paper's trio without them knowing. Initially, this was not an issue as Paper's trio was able to wipe them out and still get decent games to be able to qualify for grands. But in the final game, they needed a simple top 20 to secure the qual, and they didn't want to take any risks they didn't need to. They opted to try to split the POI by looting a house each and leaving before Sharkman's trio would come and fight them. They successfully left, but Sharkman's trio chased them halfway across the map and griefed both of their games. Keep in mind, Sharkman had near zero chance to qualify, so they were just trying to grief Paper of the qualification to be dickheads. And then it happened. Paper let all of his anger out. Before we show this, we'd like to mention this was in 2021, and Paper is a changed man now. He is now the elite and one of the most respected pros in the scene. We'll get into how he turned his career around later. Just know everyone makes stupid mistakes when they're younger. He went into Sharkman's chat and said, I will f***ing f*** these retard fat f up. Then proceeded to say, I'm going to find where they live and beat them until they can never touch their keyboard again. And finally, most likely the reason he got banned on Twitch, he said, I wish I could kill them IRL so badly. He also went on Twitter and said, you are all fat retards who will be homeless in one year. You broke these, quit the game and get hit by a 160 mile an hour bus. You f trash cans. Now, he was extremely mad at the time. He knew that he fucked up immediately after tweeting this, as the tweet was deleted no more than 15 minutes after being posted. His team then had to play another heat session to get into the reboot round, which they successfully did. But that's not the end of it. When they woke up the following morning, the trio had been banned from FNCS because Paper broke TOS and said things he was not supposed to say. If it couldn't get any worse, Paper was also banned on Twitch. And if it couldn't get any worse from there, Sharkman was thinking of allegedly suing Paper for harassment. Nico, one of Paper's trio mates, went onto Twitter and tweeted right at Paper and said, fuck you. This reaction is understandable, given that he had just gotten them banned from the reboot round. Paper went onto Twitter to post, people don't understand, man. I have anger issues for so many reasons, bro. It's not fair. He then tweeted, this is officially the end of me, guys. I am so, so sorry to all of my viewers, people who subbed to me. I'm truly sorry. This was one hell of a learning experience for Paper. He had been banned from FNCS, Twitch, and the other trio was also threatening lawsuits. We also need to mention that Paper was finally starting to come up during this time. He was always good competitively, but he was finally starting to gain more and more viewers on Twitch and YouTube. It was all taken from him because of one stupid mistake. But over the course of three years, he really changed his career around and has once again become one of the most respected Fortnite pros. Side note, he is so well respected now that the casters all wished him and his duo Victor V luck prior to the FNCS Globals. But this 180 degree life turnaround didn't happen immediately. For the rest of chapter two, he had to just play Fortnite competitively without making content, which was killing him inside knowing he couldn't do anything about it. He got 20 24th in Season 7 FNCS Grands, 41st in the Solo All-Stars, 17th in Season 8 Grands, did not qualify for Grand Royale, and got 19th in the Chapter 3 Season 1 Grand Finals. The bad streak followed as he didn't even qualify for Chapter 3 Season 2 Grands. Paper finally made a change after this and started playing with more underrated talent rather than trying to find a T1 duo every time, something that just wasn't working for him.
him. He played with Lawrence in the Season 3 Grand Finals and ended up getting 12th place. That is pretty damn good for someone who didn't qualify to the past few FNCS Grand Finals. After a long time of no FNCS, it was essentially replaced by Elite Cups, the most forgotten tournaments of all time. He teamed up with Jamper once again for the first FNCS of Chapter 4. But this didn't end well. He didn't qualify once again, and he was back at Square 1 for the next season. Before Season 2, though, NA West and NA East merged into NA Central. This was huge for Paper, and he was planning to duel with Muzz for the remaining FNCSs in hope to qualify to land with the OCE GOAT. And if finding Muzz, an absolute GOAT, wasn't good enough for Paper, on June 18th, 2023, Paper was finally unbanned from Twitch. This meant that he could stream again. This meant he was able to finally showcase his personality to the world again. Life was good again. He was winning with Muzz and was able to finally stream again. And in the third FNCS of 2023, Paper and Muzz secured 11th place overall, which secured them a spot in Copenhagen for Globals. Paper placed 30th at the land. Not too good a placement, but just making it there was an incredible achievement for him. Now in 2024, he played with Muzz again, but they split before Major 3. In Major 3, Paper went back to his roots and played with Victor V. Victor V wasn't very known, and other T1 pros were scared to pick him up because he's very young. But Paper took a chance on him, and they went on to qualify to the 2024 FNCS Global Championship. Paper took on a prodigy and helped Victor really make a name for himself. Also, we cannot forget about Pops, Victor V's dad, who was their coach for the season and helped both of them keep their calm in every tournament. Paper really became a mentor for Victor, and Paper's reputation took a 180-degree turn. He changed his life around after making what most would say is the biggest mistake he's ever made throughout his Fortnite career. Most people get canceled, quit, and stop grinding. Paper continued doing what he loved, and everything is paying off right now. He's one of the most respected competitive Fortnite players who is also known to be extremely entertaining because of his funny personality. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and we'll see you in the next video.